Hey, Shane from the Vonnie Podcast and Liberty Intertype Publications here. Uh, this past Friday, December 6th, I sent out an email to my list titled, Why I'm a Vanuin. Uh, of course, if you aren't signed up for TVP LUA Publications email updates, uh, you definitely should get on board. Just visit libertyintertype.com and fill out the form at the top of the page. Uh, you'll be able to snag a few free books for doing so. Uh, hashtag Agora, my book, Vonnie with Strategy for Self-Liberation. Uh, and Second Realm book on strategy. Uh, now, I'm a privacy extremist, so I'll never share your information with anyone, and I promise I won't pester you. Uh, anyway, so yes, I sent out this email and uh, figured it was worth a short video. Um, yeah, short video that uh, I might put out as podcast, uh, put out as a podcast uh, too. We'll see. Uh, so let's get to it. Vanu is an awkward contraction of the words voluntary, not vulnerable. It's a strategy with a focus on making individuals as invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the servile society as humanly possible. Uh, this is done by way of radical lifestyle changes. Uh, examples include security culture, crypto anarchy, van nomadism, living on a sailboat, or otherwise known as minimal sailboating, perpetual traveling, intentional communities, and ethical enclave trading, uh, more commonly known uh, in anarchist circles as agorism. Mavanu isn't just a freedom strategy. It's also a cohesive philosophy, uh, very similar to the philosophy of voluntarism, only with a focus on action. Uh, or, in other words, increasing personal freedom in the here and now, in physical space and time. If you want more information, please visit vanupodcast.com and click on the Start Here tab. After that, I'd highly recommend uh, starting at episode number one of the podcast and uh, working your way forward. There's a lot of episodes, lots of hours of, uh, of discussion, but uh, you really do need to start uh, all the way back uh, at episode one. Uh, back, I guess, it would have been January of 2017. But uh, anyway, uh, so why am I why am I uh, why am I a new one? Number one, I believe Vanu is the most efficacious freedom strategy out there, uh, and Vanu being radical lifestyle changes uh, paired with mobility, because uh, yeah, as Rayo talked about, uh, the most efficacious lifestyle changes um, are ones that are mobile in nature, and it's as I've said before. Uh, you know, if the coercers can't find you, they can't coerce you. And if you're uh, constantly moving about, um, whether in a van, uh, in a sailboat, um, or all, all over the world, if you're a perpetu perpetual traveler, um, yeah, if the coercers can't find you, they can't coerce you. And uh, another benefit of mobility that I, I, I guess I just kind of thought of now is just that um, if you live a mobile, fl uh, mobile lifestyle, then uh, you live a very flexible life. And uh, I think, you know, flexibility is a very, very good thing. Um, you know, being... Uh, being able to adapt to change uh, and uh, you know, being able to do it uh, quick and often uh, is, uh, I think, advantageous for, for more, reasons, uh, more reasons than not. So number two, as Rayo said, Vanu is yours for the making. Uh, it's totally individualizable. Uh, my pursuit of Vanu will not be the same as yours. So currently, I'm off-grid homesteading in southern Illinois, uh, working towards financial independence, and... Um, yeah, I guess ethical enclave trading has, uh, has worked in there, has worked in there as well. Um, so that's that's my pursuit of Vanu. Um, your pursuit of Vanu may be, uh, oh, I don't know, perpetual traveling. I don't know, uh, whatever it may be. Um, your path to, to get your your path to to a Vanuan is uh, is obviously uh, uh, different than mine, and uh, your pursuit as a Vanuan will be as well. So I just like it's 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 individually it's individual based. Number three. It's one of the few libertarian ideologies, or I guess anarchist philosophies or ideologies, that realizes the important duality of theory and practice. In other words, philosophy and action. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, just simply put, uh, the important duality of theory and practice or philosophy and action. And this is my main issue with anarcho-capitalism. Um, and I, I guess voluntarism too, to, to a certain extent, is that uh, there's little there's little focus on the here and now. It's it's very very theoretical, and um, I guess with voluntarism, it's it's just kind of that uh, the the action. And I, I guess that there is there is some direct action there. Um, but uh, with voluntarism, things like strategic withdrawal, um, those would be would be the main the main action points. Uh, so I have less less of an issue with voluntarism on that front. Um, and uh, but yeah, anarcho capitalism is very very theoretical. A lot of the Austrian economists that uh, that's I guess postulate in that realm. Um, yeah, it's it's all in the future. It's all in a hypothetical free society. How how the how the, how the market could operate. So, um, yeah, that's number three. Uh, number four, the practice of Vanu does not require the violation uh, or contradiction of libertarian anarchist principles. Uh, rather, the action is chosen specifically because it does adhere to them. Uh, so, obviously, you know, if you're a libertarian and anarchist politics, um, <laughs> I guess liber just ignore the, ignore the word libertarian because that's, uh, that's, it's, got, it's, it's got its own issues. But, uh, 
yeah, Vanu. It's 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 you you can you can you can practice the philosophy of Vanu, and uh, you know not not violate uh, violate principles. So that's that's a good thing. Um, there's no political crusading uh, required. Um, it's not like secession, where if you're an advocate of uh, secession, as it is commonly known today, political secession. Um, yeah, there's no uh, there's no need to violate your principles uh, as a Vanuan. Uh, you can live your principles. Uh, and uh, you'd be an example of, uh, of, of uh, I guess, uh, volunteerism in action, or you just don't be an example at all and, and blend in. That works, too. <laughs> so, uh, number five, Vano explicitly rejects political crusading, collective movementism, and other applications of bullshit libertarianism, like the libertarian, anti-libertarian, libertarian party. Um, but yeah, as uh, I, I just kind of said a moment ago, um, as, you know, philosophically, yeah, Vanu rejects all of these things, uh, political crusading, collective movementism, and uh, things like the anti-libertarian libertarian party uh and that's just uh i was i was already i, I was already there before i found vanu uh, i was there before i was even before i was even an anarchist when i was a constitutionalist a uh, conspiracist yeah back in uh, 2014 was it uh 2013 2014 yeah i rejected politics back then too um even without being an anarchist so uh that uh that came that's uh, you know it's it's been there been there it's been my, my position forever so um of course, since Vanu, Vanu uh, is philosophically aligned with that, great. Makes it made, made me fall in love, fall in love with it that much quicker. So, uh, number six, uh, there's an easy way to vet individuals, weed out bullshitters. Are they actively living a lifestyle change in pursuance of freedom, or is all they do talk? Um, so yeah, just that's pretty pretty simply put. Um, for um, I, I don't know, like, uh, if we're talking about, uh, you know, the theoretical realm, um, if, uh, if, if, if the ID, if the other ideology only focuses on theory, then there's really no, there's really not a whole lot of action. Um, it's harder to vet people, I guess. Um, so yeah, if, if people are serious, you, you can find out real, real easily, um, I guess in the realm of Vani. And, uh, last is number seven. Vani provides a garden variety list of potential strategies rather than t uh, via uh, top-down dictates. So this isn't, uh, you know, like a political crusading thing where you've got to, you know, I mean, it's not a, a politician issuing orders. This is, uh, you know, grassroots. Um, this is, uh, you know, from, from the ground up. Um, that, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of potential strategies out there and it's up to the individual, uh, you know, based off their preferences and current life situation, uh, what paths they would like to pursue. So those are the seven reasons why uh, why I am a Venuan. Um, now, as I said in the original email, I wouldn't consider that a totally exhaustive list. Uh, I'm sure there's one or two that I've forgotten to add, uh, but that's most of them. If I remember, uh, if I remember any extras, I'll, I'll mention one of the in a, in a future podcast. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in learning more about Vanu, again, please visit vanupodcast.com. And please consider signing up for TVP LUA Publications email updates. Just visit libertyunderattack.com, fill out the form at the top of the page, and snag a few free books. Uh, you know, courtesy of LUA, LUA Publications. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and share the content around if you find it valuable. And uh, obviously, if you'd like to donate, um, you certainly can. But uh, I'd prefer, yes, uh, you know, go, uh, you know, go buy some books or something. Um, I, I don't want to, uh, uh, yeah, don't want to to, to beg. I'd rather uh, give you something in return. Uh, you know, paper, really nice uh, paperback books. But uh, anyway, if you want to, uh, if you want to donate, uh, tipin.me slash at LUA Radio. Uh, there's also a bit backer there. Uh, as well. Thanks guys and uh, laissez-faire.